Hello, my name is Ian McComb and this is a video from the Demoscopy Made Simple series and it's going to be on dots. Now, dots come in a variety of uh, colours. They're usually defined as small round structures less than 0.1 of a millimetre in diameter. And the colours that I'm most interested in are those that are grey, brown and red. You can, of course, get black dots, and you may well see these uh, at the edge of, uh, of a melanoma, representing um, pigment accumulations up in the stratum corneum or else uh, collections of uh, abnormal melanocytes in this area. When you get brown dots, it tends to indicate that it's uh, melanin at the, at the level of the dermoepidermal junction. Whereas if you've got grey-blue dots, um, then it tends to be melanin that's deeper in the dermis, perhaps in melanophages, or if they're bluish, sometimes they're just free uh, melanin in the, in the dermis. Red dots, a lot of people don't sort of count these, but red dots, uh, they're usually vessels, um, but they look like dots. Sometimes they're actually just coiled vessels. So the one that you really should uh, concentrate on are the grey dots, and there's this differential of anything that has grey dots in it, like in plainness, like keratosis, pigmented solar keratosis, pigmented IEC, and melanoma. It's much the same as grey circles. Uh, we've talked about that earlier. The brown dots, pigmented intraepidermal carcinoma, or Bowen's disease, Clark nevus, or a melanoma. And the red dots, Bowen's disease, inflamed skin, um, you know, things like psoriasis, or a clear cell acanthoma. So remember the grey dots and that, those four little uh, diagnoses. Let's go and have a look at the other ones we have here. Let's start with the grey dots. Now, you can't see the clinical terribly uh, well up there. Um, this basically is a pigmented lesion. If you looked at it closely, you will see the grey. And then when you put your dermatoscope on it, you see these coarse grey dots scattered throughout the lesion. There seems to be some brownie um, structure in the background here, but it's very difficult to say what it was. Um, this is sometimes described as peppering. But these grey dots represent melanin and melanophages in the dermis. And uh, they're a sign of, uh, of regression. So this is a lichen planus like keratosis. We don't know what the underlying lesion was. It's really very much regressed there. It's called an LPLK, lichen planus like keratosis. What about the others? Okay, let's look at this one. Again, we've got grey dots. Um, there's a lot of little structure I want to point out to you here. We sometimes describe these as polygons. Uh, you often see them in regressed lesions. But here you've got grey dots. Um, they're a much finer grey dot than we saw in the lichen planus like keratosis. Um, you've got lines reticular here, um, and the network here was a little bit thickened as well. Here you had a regressed area. Um, it could be considered scar-like, but you know, it, it really has to be white, whereas this is almost the same color as the surrounding area. Now, I was suspicious this would be a, a melanoma, but in point of fact, it was reported as a regressed dysplastic nevus. I must admit, you know, you'd be justified in asking your pathologist to cut do deeper cuts into this and just see what's going on in that area, because they may have missed um, uh, some changes of uh, an early melanoma there. However, note that these grey dots here are much finer than those in the lichen planus like keratosis. Now, what about some other grey dots? There's the clinical of this lesion here. You see the grey here, you see the darker coloured uh, area. Then you look at the dermatoscope and what do you see? This is the darker coloured area. This is your thickened lines reticular here. There's a disrupted um, and network here. There's quite structureless area. This is scarring. You know how this color is much different from the surrounding color. So this is a scar, a structureless area of regression. And then you've got these gray dots here. 
You've got a mixture of them, some finer ones and some quite coarser ones. But when this was examined, this was a regressed invasive melanoma. It can be difficult, can't it? Um, regressed dysplastic nevus, regressed melanoma, LPLK. Uh, you often can only give a differential when you see a lot of gray dots like this. But the presence of uh, these structures here and just the clinical is certainly suggestive of a melanoma. Now, okay, we've done some gray dots. I haven't shown you um, pigmented IEC there with gray dots. I'm going to show you it a little bit later. Let's go to brown dots. Now, brown or black dots, I've said a pigmented IEC, Clark nevus, or a melanoma. Now, this one, you've got a lot of brownish uh, and black dots. They're scattered throughout this lesion though. Generally in melanomas the blackish dots are usually at the periphery where you've got the rapidly growing uh, edges. This was the clinical in this case. Let's see if we can make it just a little bit bigger. Ooh, that's certainly big. Let's see if we can just have a look at the, the clinical here. This was the clinical in this man's arm. You can almost see the little grey dots uh, in part of this. Um, and looking at them, I thought some of these grey dots were in lines. I actually thought it was going to be perhaps a pigmented intraepidermal carcinoma. But it wasn't. This was, in fact, an invasive uh, melanoma. So there's the other um, close-up of these. Um, I've talked about dots in lines. Let me show you what I mean by dots in lines. Let's just make this smaller again. And we'll go on to the, the next slide. Okay, let's look at this one. There's this clinical lesion on the leg. It's in several parts. You've got these pink parts and then you've got this pigmented area here. Now. This is the dermoscopy of this pigmented part here. And what I want you to look at are these brown dots and lines. Let's make it just a touch bigger. Okay, that'll probably do is Look at these dots here. There's lots of dots scattered throughout it. Um, and you get the impression of dots being arranged more in lines in this than perhaps the more random dots that we saw in that last melanoma. And this corresponds to this bit here. So if you see brown dots in lines streaking almost at the edge of a lesion, then it's likely to be a pigmented intraepidermal carcinoma, a pigmented bones disease. Now what we should do is look at these pink areas. So Let's have a look at them. Here's the pink area this time. And what we're seeing, you might call these red dots, or you might call them red clods, in fact. They're a bit big for dots, aren't they? Um, because these are really coiled vessels. And these are the typical coiled vessels that you see in Bowen's disease or um, SCC in situ. But remember, you can get red dots in Clark nevus, clear cell acanthoma, also inflammatory processes such as psoriasis um, and this pigmented and non-pigmented bones disease. So you may interpret these initially as red dots. They're actually coiled vessels. Let's look at some really nice red dots though and an absolutely classic example of the genre. Make this just a little bit smaller. Okay, look at these red dots. Look how these are almost in, in lines. They sometimes colloquially are called strings of pearls. And this, in fact, is a clear cell acanthoma. You can hear the phone going in the background. My apologies. The red dots will need to be the end of this. So dots are important. Thank you very much.